Hi. Hello, hello. It's Monday evening and I'm jumping in for Monday message. And hi guys. Oh, you all just jumped in at once. So nice to see you for a moment there. I was like, oh, I'm going to be talking to myself. <laughs> So I don't know if you can see my little heading that I put in there, whether it worked, but my heading was today's Monday message. I've been a mess, bit of a mess today, and I wasn't even going to jump in to can't show up for you guys today. So I just had like a super emotional day today. Um, and there's been so much stuff going on, I know, for so many people. Uh, for me, I've been traversing some pretty full-on stuff personally over the past six months uh, to do with my husband and I, and I haven't really been put it out here into this group uh, in the stuff that we've been navigating and just really it's like I've had to really walk my talk. And, you know, I, I, I say to you all, have these truthful, honest conversations and I heard recently that intimacy is the conjunction between love and truth, right? Because we kind of buy into this fantasy, this Disney fantasy story that um, love is all of the things that we are conditioned to view, to regard as, right? And that uh, marriage, for example, is, looks a certain way. And this it just has to be like this. And so I've been really, over the past probably two years and definitely six months, really trying to dismantle social constructs on myself. Like that there's an expectation, you know, um, that we have to be a woman as the people pleaser and the nurturer. And this is not just in relationship, this is in life, right? Um, and so I've just been slowly taking that social construct off myself and actually having to ask myself, what do you want? What do you need um, in life? And these are inconvenient questions to ask ourselves because it can be a lot to actually face when you ask yourself these questions and truth comes up for you and it's like, oh, fuck, no. I don't want to know that. I don't want to hear that within myself because that is going to be inconvenient. That is going to put people out. That is going to, you know, potentially like in my um, current experience, dismantle your whole family. If it's, if it's like, those are the kind of big truth discussions you have with yourself. Um, and it's a, it's a tricky path. It's a tricky, tricky path um, to, to navigate, whether it's having big questions or conversations with yourselves about your, um, your work, right? You might be in something and you know in your soul and your heart that that's not where you want to be right now. But it's so much easier to be in denial and to not actually honestly ask yourself those questions but what is trickier is when you think you're clear on something which that's what I'm navigating right now like I just felt like it was so clear like what my soul was calling for what it was wanting and it's like it was it was really it were moments clear 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 what what am I doing in terms of my relationship with my husband those of you who know me and I wasn't gonna I didn't even told him I'm coming onto my Facebook and just having this conversation here so sorry Marky if you're listening to this but it's so tricky because in relationship right for you that have been in long-term relationships in friendships family relationships intimate relationships my husband and I've been together 22 years um, met and literally fell in love the first night we met right and the thing is with us we, I love him. He's like literally, this is why I get crying. He's like the kindest man. He never ever says a bad word about anyone. He is a beautiful, beautiful man. He's probably the realest human 
the most honest human that I have ever come across. <laughs> and I love that about this man. But equally, I have just felt like it was time for us to have a different experience of this journey, right? So that's what we're currently doing <laughs> in a bit of a hybrid way because we're still technically together, but we are living apart. And it's so confusing because in one moment I am like, this is right, this feels good, I'm loving the independence. And then in, in another moment, <laughs> when I see him or I'm lying on his chest, I'm like, oh my God, this feels so good. This feels so right. So I don't know if people can relate or resonate <laughs> with this, where it's like both feel good. Without someone feels really good, but then with someone feels really good too. And this was where it can get like a little bit <laughs> confusing. And for me today, I was like, um, I was doing some personal training with a friend. Sorry if uh, my friend's here, because I, I don't want to ask you, but she said to me today that about five years ago, she had a really tricky time in relationship. And she's like, so she just went to Vegas for a couple of weeks, kind of sorted herself out and came back. And then but suddenly, just part of me, I was kind of driving home and I'm like, oh my god maybe i should have just gone to vegas for two weeks instead of like literally dismantling my whole family <laughs> engaging in a an endeavor uh, that's going to cost me like seventy five thousand dollars just i'll be transparent with you of what i'm doing renting a new house furnishing a new house blah blah blah, blah. and it's like oh my god maybe i should have just gone to vegas for two weeks right <laughs> it's like but then, on the other hand, I'm teaching people, I'm saying to people, you know what? Go with your heart, go what feels right, and maybe you change your mind. And maybe in two weeks I change my mind, or maybe I never do, right? I don't know. And this is the thing where you literally surrender to the unknown. Like, I feel like I'm just going day by day, step by step, and I do not know the outcome of this journey and this is part of the message i think for you guys is that when we trust our guidance system we trust that and then we follow it know that it's potentially going to get still confusing or messy and we're not sure and we have these moments of wobbles like i've been really wobbly today <laughs> um and it's like surrendering day by day and then you have these other little just moments because what what i've been hitting up against our route is one of the biggest traps this is what i've been hitting up against today as well one of the biggest traps that we have on this planet is money and attachment to money and what money means and all of that kind of stuff and so that's what um i've been traversing and navigating a whole around that today because I had kind of convinced myself that I was so unattached to it and it's like I'm just follow my heart and don't worry about money and da 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 da. And then just today, it's like bullshit leash. You have not got to that point. You still are entangled in it. You still have um, some stuff that you've got to work through, right? And it is, it's just, it's just this crazy trap that we have around money and then tonight just then my two daughters were playing together in the bedroom setting up little organizing little things in color coding what are they called fidgets blah 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 da, da, da. the older one 13 year olds helping the seven year old with organize a room and all this kind of stuff and i just stopped in the moment and i just looked around and i just took it all in and my ears were ringing like crazy which they do when like spirits like super close it's like leash this is the stuff that matters this is the juice right even if okay I don't want to get to the point where there's no money right but it's like this is the stuff that's real these connections these moments the this this intimacy between humans when you just stop and like time stops 
and you look around and it's like, oh my God, delicious. So it can, this, I feel like, like as part of this spiritual journey that I'm on, it's like, this is like my next curriculum is like, okay, Leash, how, how attached are you actually to money? Right. And then I've stuffed up and I've booked this retreat venue where I've been holding my retreats. I've booked it. Of course, those of you who know me well know I'm not great on detail. So I went and booked it on Father's Day weekend, which was like not very smart. And so now that's a bit of a tricky retreat to fill. And so I'm like, okay, oh my God, what am I going to do now? And I thought, oh, I can maybe bring it forward the weekend, but then it's like, there's not enough time to fill it. And I'm like all this stuff that I'm usually just feeling so free and creating and manifesting and all this kind of stuff. I just felt like, oh fuck. And I have really felt, and I have not felt this for such a long time. I have felt like fear creeping back into my life today. And I was like, oh my God. So I was like talking to Mark and working through all this stuff. And just like every time I spoke, I was just like so teary. It's like, oh my God, I haven't, I just haven't felt this for such a long time. Um, So people out there, when you are feeling the overwhelm and feeling the fear come up and feeling the the money hoo-ha and all that, like I really kind of got the whole fucking gamut of it today um yeah it was just it was just a yeah just a messy messy depressing <laughs> kind of a victimy day um that not that i thought i was kind of through those times but it just shows you like even when you feel like right you're kind of on fire and you feel really good and strong with your inner temple and everything like your rudder is strong which is how i'd felt it's like i just was like given a real like smash about going leash don't get too big for your spiritual boots girl because guess what man you have still got so much fucking work to do so much day by day it's just like one thing after another after another after another so the message is <laughs> today number one we don't have to know exactly where things are going to play out in our lives but just still having that trust and when that fear when that ego part of ourselves really starts to want to kick like mine was really starting to kick and by the end of the night like I was like I just listened to I think a podcast or something and I just heard a few beautiful messages and it was like Okay, Leash, calm the farm. <laughs> Just breathe. Calm down. Everything is going to be okay. You can't control it. All you can do is just step one step each day, each day, each day, each day, being loving, right? But then this is a tricky business, isn't it? Being love, um, acting with love, choose how, what love would choose. Okay, well, then you give that to the scenario of relationship, right? And those of you who have um, stepped out of a relationship. So, or well, I'm kind of in a hybrid model right now. Um, but it's like stepping out of that relationship. Well, is that then not loving? How can that be loving? How can that be loving, right? to step out of a relationship or to leave a long-term partner, um, to dismantle family, children, or how, you know, how can that be loving? But then on the flip side, it's like, well, what about you? Where do you factor in that? And what is loving for you? And imagine that actually something that looks potentially cruel could actually be loving to other beings because what happens and what i'm noticing happening in my family is that as this whole dynamic has shifted and changed it's like i'm seeing crazy growth in humans around me um, because of this whole new world that we're stepping into and navigating and it's like the fear was holding me i'm so fri- i was so frightened because i don't want to um I don't want to hurt my husband. I don't want to hurt my kids. But what I've actually seen, um, the kids, it's blown me away. 
these kids are stronger than we realize um, and sometimes we create all these fear stories in our minds and we we don't want to go there with difficult conversations so if there are things that you want to say to your partner so that you can pre potentially prevent getting to the le to the level of things where we are at um, like say them have those honest conversations I mean, we've had the best and most rawest and most honest conversations in 22 years of our relationship. The last six months, it's like everything's out there, like as transparent as is humanly possible about what what is going on um, in each of our heads. So if there are things that you want to say to your loved ones, have those conversations because the the, the truth, there's just, oh, there's such a relief in communicating that. Whether it's something that, you know, may be tricky or whether it's something that is, you're so appreciative of someone, you're so grateful for them, so you want to give them a compliment or like just not to hold that stuff, just to share that stuff. We don't know, you know, no one knows how long we've got here. So this is your life. <laughs> I think that's probably enough of my rambling and all of my, um, all of my hoo-ha. Maki, if you watch this, I hope that you're okay, that I have um, spoken about this uh, with 2,000 people. <laughs> Not that 2,000 will see the message. Um, but yeah, it's just like day by day, who knows? Who knows in any day or in any relationship, um, you know, what, what people are navigating and what people are, um, traversing it's this is a this is not an easy not an easy world to navigate let alone with all of that kind of stuff and you know what it's like with anything like unless you've gone through stuff unless you've experienced it kind of oblivious to it and so now like i think of people who've been um in situations where their um relationship has taken twists or turns or things like that it's like i feel now like i wasn't like i was I was just kind of on the periphery of it, but it's like when you're actually one going through it, it's like you you then look into other people's um, lives differently, and um, yeah, you just like kind of like bow down to people. <laughs> For me now, I look at people that have kind of traversed all of this stuff, um, and it's like wow, oh man, you've really particularly particularly when um, it's been done in a way where the partners are still able to um, be compassionate and kind and loving to each other um, like that's that's a real it's a real testament when I see people um, that have been like that and in fact my parents have been incredible like that like if you were in a room with my parents you wouldn't even really know that they'd been um, separated for my god 20 years um, so yeah that's my um, that's my messy messy hoo ha that um, I've been traversing, <laughs> and I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, and yeah, even though I didn't want to come on here, it's like it's all just like falling out um, within this space. So those of you who are also traversing stuff, and I know that that's that's part of what's happening from a spiritual planet. Well, from a resonance perspective is basically the things that were just bubbling 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 have like been pushing to the surface and there are things that we just can't ignore and can't deny anymore and have got to deal with them and that's how i felt like it's how what i've experienced currently is very similar energetically to when i was coming out of the spiritual closet where i felt like i couldn't hold it anymore i just like was like i can't I just can't hold it anymore and that's where I've got that's where I've got to in relationship where it's like I just like something I just like it, we needed just needed a shift um, and this is what's also confusing because since the shift it's like it's it's there's like been a relief like a and then like everything's actually really good um, not that we ever got really bad that's the kind of tricky thing with us and those of you who know mark and i sorry i overshare the tricky thing with us is the sexual connection is fucking off the show um and so i, I can't imagine how that's ever gonna stop <laughs> but who knows right day by day 
but that's that's the tricky tricky arrangement um i don't know if other people have that normally because i've been reading a lot about relationships and normally when you you kind of people know that they're done in relationship because that starts to wane and they're not really into each other like that whereas that doesn't hasn't happened for us <laughs> so it's like a, it's very confusing even though I'm, i like i know my soul was like pressing and pushing um so yeah interesting interesting time sorry for my overshare but um that's um that's that's me that's how i how i roll right i've got two kids to bed and i'm going to now try and get another two kids to bed thank you so many of you have stuck with me through my um <laughs> blah, 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 thing 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 tonight um just take good care of yourselves and your partners like use this as an example i know so many of my good friends um have you know utilized this M mark and i as an opportunity for them to just really be more appreciative of each other um and to just acknowledge the other one more and just to you know, be and have those real, real honest um, conversations with each other. So if this message gives that to you, then that will give me great happiness. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Thank you for your comments. I haven't read them yet, but I will, um, I will, 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 message, I will respond to you guys. Just take good care out there. I love you. Bye, friends. Mwah. See ya.